Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's been a long time since I did one of these. Deck profile. Finally got my Ghost Trick Creator, Dark Creator deck built in real life. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Um, so here we go. Uh, three Jiangxi. As you can see, I'm still waiting to get two more Jiangxi. It's almost embarrassing to have these proxy, but it's stupid common. Um, hopefully I get them by this weekend so I can play in the tournament. Then we're playing three Ghost Trick Spectre, three Ghost Trick Jack Frost, and three Ghost Trick Mary. Uh, this is my Ghost Trick engine. I'm just running 12. Next up, Tour Guide engine, three Tour Guide, and one Dark Resonator. Uh, this will become apparent here why I chose to run Dark Resonator over Night Assailant. Uh, this will become um, important soon. Next, two Crane Crane, Triple Effect Veiler, Triple Caius' Shadow Monarch, and three Dark Creator. It's my monster lineup. It's 27 monsters. <clears throat> Next for my spells, I'm just running six. Three Mystical Space Typhoon, Book, Lure, and dark hole and finally my traps to breakthrough skill one skill prisoner torrential tribute regeki break and two call the hunted and my extra deck black rose mist worm vulcan of divine hts sahimith those are my only synchros. Uh, one Felgrand, one Ptolemy M7, Downard, and Downard just to overlay over my rank threes, and there's a lot of them. Uh, we have two Alley cards, one Giga Brilliant, Acid Golem, Levier, Mechwhip Engineer, Leviathan Dragon, Zen Mains, those are my rank threes, and then just only two rank ones. Uh, two Ghost Trick Dullahan. Uh, going in reverse, I'm only choosing to run these two over, say, um, Utopia, uh, the new Rank 1 Utopia, and um, the uh, Rank 1 version of her, Slacker Magician, because those are more or less stall cards. I have enough stalling. Uh, this is more of an aggressive card, plus it stalls. I mean, when it dies, I get to get one of my Ghost Trick back, and those cards inherently stall. So um, that's what that that's my reasoning on only running these as my rank twos. Uh, plus the fact that they're recyclable. Um, worst comes to worst, if I have one in the grave and make another one, when it dies, I can send it back to the extra. If Alucard dies, then this can go one of these can go back to the extra, and etc. And that goes for the Alucard also. They can recycle the other one. And uh, so, you know, that, that, that's my reasoning on that. Uh, just a single Downard Magician. I'd like to run two. If I did run two, it would be over uh, one of the rank threes. Uh, more than likely Leviathan Dragon. Just because Acid Golem pretty much does what he needs to. But uh, there have been times when I have needed Tim Tempo. So there's... Um, you know, there's some still some tweaking going on. Giggle Brilliant may have to uh, go in favor of Tim Tempo. Tim Tempo can just be too good at times. Stripping a 101 of material, stripping a um, an Excite Knight of a material before I attack. You know, those kind of applications seem really good to me. Uh, next, uh, Ptolemy M7. Uh, since I've run a Triple Caius and I have an opportunity with Crane Crane and my uh, Dark Resonator. One of this, uh, Ptolemy's can be pretty clutch in recycling a Caius to use later turn or whatever monster, maybe a Crane Crane to use later on. So, you know, he made the cut. Uh, Divine Dragon. This is like the late game finisher, uh, Felgrand. Uh, just because toward the um, late game, when you've exhausted all your opponent's resources, you start dropping Dark Creators. Um, there's several plays where you can summon Dark Creator, uh, use this effect, tribute the Dark Creator for Caius, 
I then call the haunted dark creator, bring back a previous dark creator, go on a fell grand, or just do plays like that. <clears throat> uh, next, Mist Worm and Black Rose Dragon. I found through play testing that there was a lot of times where I would have a Jiangxi and Grave or on the field, and a level three. I'm um, in a grave, so I could flip Jiangxi, get my search, summon Crane Crane, uh, get my level three, and my opponent would be expecting. Uh, well, I would get my uh, Dark Resonator. My opponent would be expecting uh, a level six, like a Vulcan or Sahemoth, and I pop out a Mist Worm to bounce a field of exceeds or, you know, back rows or what have you. And uh, so I felt that that was a pretty good inclusion. And then finally, Black Rose Dragon, um, after like Jack Frost hits the field, I can summon Crane Crane again, get my Dark Resonator. Uh, flip Jack Frost and then Black Rose the field and then sit on my in hand Marys and uh, other Jack Frost or just drop Dark Creator after the field wipe and then seal the game up from there. Uh, so, you know, I pretty much already explained uh, the interactions here. Uh, that's the reason for Dark Resonator. It just adds another dimension to the deck. Uh, I noticed. Uh, Jeff Jones at YCS Chicago was running Ghost Tricks. He used the uh, rank up card, and uh, maybe in the future I can test that. Um, that is pretty cool. Turning uh, Alu card into Brom, uh, you would be kind of have. You uh, turn uh, Mequip Engineer into Tyrus, run Grenosaurus, and you can turn that into Volcasaurus. So you know, there's some really cool synergies in there. Uh, but I don't know. I would have definitely have to drop the Dark Creator. I can't have too many dead cards in the deck. So, you know, the Dark Creator would have to uh, be dropped in favor of uh, the three um, rank up cards. Um, next up <clears throat> for the traps, uh, Call the Haunted. Again, it's like what I was explaining when these guys are sent to the graveyard, they're mandatory effects, kind of like Sangin or Goblin Zombie or Card Trooper. So if I have a Call the Haunted set and I MST it, I can chain to get back one of these guys. And on the destruction of one of these guys, I can recur a Ghost Trick to my hand or throw back an Exceed back to the extra deck. Uh, so that's really good interaction. And Skill Prisoner, um, I'm just testing this out. It's been really cool against uh, Bear because it really sucks to have Bear uh, pop your pop your stuff so and uh, skill prisoner gives me two uses you know um, I can you know between the breakthrough skills and the skill prisoners you know this is my concession that um, fire fist can really hurt me going to the next format it may not be as bad so maybe skill prisoner will have to reconsider maybe a second regeki break would be important there but you know and until we get there uh, I'm happy with the way it is for now and finally, uh, if you notice my spells, I'm not running uh, beginning of the end. The uh, draw card that you have to have seven darks in grave, banish five to draw three. Uh, simply because, um, again, I chose to run the dark creator. And drawing the dark creators early game is already hurtful enough. And then to add another dimension of a card that I have to wait several turns to make live. Uh, I just felt that I couldn't afford it. I felt that uh, Dark Creator drops were more game, were more impactful than running beginning of the end. And even potentially Dark Arm Dragon, just because I can't control my grave uh, that that well. And I don't want, about, don't want to worry about drawing dead cards. Whereas Creator just requires me to just have an empty field and uh, summoning him. And he pretty much is uh, game clinching. If he lives a couple of turns, he becomes very dangerous. Well, tell me what you guys think about my build. Um, it's subject to change. Again, <laughs> I'm very sad. I need Jung Shis. Um, I'm really hoping to get him so I can start playing in real life again. Maybe get some duels up. Uh, try to come back to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life. So um, hopefully, if I can get to play this weekend at uh, Locals, I can get some live duels and put those up on YouTube. Thumbs up this video. It's Dub K Dad and I'm out.